Hey, what's up student? Welcome to another very interesting tutorial of ultrasonic. Okay, ultrasonic is an adjective referring to ultrasound. And ultrasound is sound with a frequency greater than the upper limit of human hearing, which is greater than 20 kHz. Still in the definition, as we can see inside the figure, it is the range of ultrasound between 20 kHz to 200 megahertz and ultrasonic is a trade term coined by the Alt ultrasonic manufacturers association and used by its successor the ultrasonic industry association to refer to the use of high intensity acoustic energy to change materials this usage is contrasted to ultrasound which is generally reserved for imaging as in sonar materials examination and di and diagnostic mammography doppler blood, blood flow etc however in spite of this distinction much technical material on ultrasound imaging actually use the term ultrasonics working principle videos we need you to give attention to the process of measuring done by ultrasonic sound wave please take out notes as well are you ready students Here is how the ultrasonic measurement method works. Inside the ultrasonic flow meter, pairs of sensors located opposite each other in the measuring tube. Each sensor can transmit and receive ultrasonic signal. Simultaneously, the transit time between these sensors are measured. The ultrasonic signal is generated by piezoelectric crystal by applying a voltage. Conversely, piezoelectric crystal creates a voltage when an ultrasonic signal impacts the sensor. By increasing the number of sensor pair, it is possible to accurately detect and mathematically calculate for flow profile distortion over the entire pipe cross section. When there is no flow, the signal transit time are the same upstream and downstream once the flow start to flow in the measuring tube the ultrasonic signal accelerated in the direction of the flow and decelerated against the flow as a result the ultrasonic signal now have different transit time less time in the direction of the flow and more time in the direction opposite the flow therefore the differences transit time measured by the sensor directly proportional to the flow velocity in the pipe. Together with a known tube cross-section, the actual flow volume can then be calculated. The greater the flow velocity, the greater the difference between the two ultrasonic signals. For ultrasonic flow measurement, the sensor do not necessarily have to be fitted into the pipe. Advantages Flexible mounting Cost effective Process safety are the dis distinct advantages of ultrasonic flow measurement Improved reaction in under industrial chemical process Accurate measurement And did not interfere in flowing medium inside pipeline Disadvantages Could be detrimental to the embryonic development and can impair adult brain function when administered at certain stage of organogenesis, which is organ growth. Application of ultrasonic, industrial cleaning, medical sonogram, which is baby scan, industrial measurement, depth measurement sensor, flow sensor, air moisturizer, ultrasonic welding, 
ultrasonic humidifiers and many more okay that's about it we are already arrived at the ending thanks for watching